so we already uh, discussed the forced vital capacity let me write the definition here so we already discussed the forced vital capacity here as you can see this is the forced vital capacity also called as the forced vital capacity so this was sum of inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume so if we want to put it in words uh, what i can write is it's the total volume of air that can be forcefully expired after forceful inspiration now let me explain the statement that i just wrote it's the total volume of air that can be forcefully expired after forceful inspiration so first the person performs forceful inspiration that means the person is going to uh, the okay the person is going to inspire first the normal then forcefully till he reaches the uh, irv okay forceful now the person has to expire using his maximum effort that means forceful expiration so this includes inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus the person can also forcefully expire this part that's the expiratory reserve volume so this whole is called as the fvc that's the fun forced vital capacity okay this is the forced vital capacity after forceful inspiration the maximum air that can be forcefully expired first the irv then tidal volume then the erv okay sorry this is erv expiratory reserve oh sorry yes okay so that explains this statement now let's try to focus on this graph here okay so this is the forced vital capacity so its value is almost 5 liters okay let's say a person is asked to perform the exactly the same steps first the person has to uh, inspire forcefully then the person has to expire forcefully and the maximum uh, air that can be expelled is the forced vital capacity let's say the person reaches the forced vital capacity this point here in three seconds okay three seconds now forced vital capacity is a lung volume but it's not uh, that significant as such so what is significant about this is the forced vital capacity in the first second so let's say this person takes three seconds to reach the forced vital capacity now we measure the amount of air that's expelled in the first second okay this is called as the fev1 this is the amount expired in first second okay amount expired in first second so this here is fev1 exactly at one second because it is uh, it has been found out that during this first second almost 80 percent of total fvc is expired is expired that means fev1 divided by fvc is almost equal to 80 percent okay now this is a very important ratio it's <clears throat> very useful in making diagnosis of uh, the obstructive lung diseases and other pathologies okay fev1 now in certain conditions we cannot use fev1 so we have to use another <coughs> modif modified form that's called as fev 25 to 75 percent okay this is called fev 25 to 75 percent also called as mmef mmef stands for maximum mid expiratory flow rate okay maximum mid expiratory flow rate so let's try to understand this with the help of this diagram here so as you can see from this diagram this is the same curve and the person reaches force vital capacity in here the person reaches it in say five seconds okay the person takes five seconds to expire the air which is equal to forced vital capacity okay <clears throat> now 25 to 75 means the 25 percent and 75 percent of forced vital capacity from 25 percent to 75 percent let's mark these two points so this is the forced vital capacity here so 75 percent will be about almost here this will be 75 percent point and here fvc will be 25 percent so this is 25 percent and here it's 75 percent 
now if we draw a line the line is already drawn here in red so i'm going to again mark it this is the line connecting these two points okay the slope of this line the slope of this line actually gives us fev 20 gives us 25 to fev 25 to 75 okay this gives us fev 25 to 75 okay now this is again important because it has a clinical significance so mean forced expiratory flow during mid half of fvc that's from 25 percent to 75 percent it reflects the effort independent expiration and the states of small airways so it tells us about various pathologies and its results can be variable and uh, the it depends on fvc okay so these were the dynamic lung volumes so in dynamic lung volumes we have fvc fev1 and fev25 to 75 percent also called as maximum mid expiratory flow rate okay so that's all about today's topic now we'll discuss other aspects of pulmonary function tests in the second video okay thank you